Today's vlog will be shot entirely on this. Well, except for this part. Thank you. You too. Oh, damn, white bounce is fucked. What's going on, man? How you doing? Alright, so this is going to be my first time using this camera with the mic. So I'm gonna see how it sounds, see how it looks. my first real world usage of this mic. I hope it sounds good. Alright, I'm here. Let me see how it sounds in here. Good morning. Good morning. Did I scare you? No. Oops. Okay. I started Kevin's signing. Here. Yes. Right? <laughs> I started signing. How, How you doing though? Good, good. A few moments later. Oh, I'm done already. Like I didn't even have a chance to even see how the camera I mean how the microphone sounds in this place. Um, I'm downstairs. I'm waiting for my cab. Uh, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go get some pizza. Yeah, because I'm hungry, I haven't had breakfast and I got some medicine still. Um I know earlier, well, earlier in the week, I said I was going to run downtown and go see if I can, like, spot some, like, sexy sailors for, sleep, for Fleet Week. But, honestly, yo, I'm tired and I don't, I don't feel like doing it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to just abandon that plan altogether. I can, that's whole just a dub. I'm about to get hit by this car. <laughs> Cab, whatever. So, all right, I brought my little camera bag, all right? I really have not used it. Like, there's nothing in here. I'm walking around with an empty camera bag because I'm freaking holding the camera. I think I really collect that shit at home. But tell me, listen, how does it sound so far? Like, there's a little, like, outside noise and there's some wind blowing. Do you guys hear any of that? I mean, I don't think you do because it's not, like, that windy. But, yeah. I'm just kind of curious how it sounds. All right, so pizza was good. Yeah, if you ever want pizza, go there. Like, if you're ever like on 96th Street and you want pizza, go right there. Like, their food is like great. And it's always fresh. Like, they make pies like all day. And they have other things too. Like, they have like, you know, the traditional Italian dishes, like, you know, like the ziti and lasagna, stuff like that. So, like, they're like freaking great. And they're nice in there too. Like, they're, they're really nice in there. All right, so this is what the deal is. I'm waiting for the cab to go home. Um, they said they'll call me when they come. So I don't know how long that wait's gonna be. Actually, hold on, I'm calling now. Yeah, hello. Yes. Yeah, I'm ready. I can be on Madison and 98. I think it's easy to pick me up from there. Madison and 98. All right, so that was the car service. Uh, clearly, he's on his way to pick me up. So I tell him I'll be on Madison 98. I'm gonna go stand on the other side of the street just so I. It's easier for me to get into the cab and he can pull over easier too. Only thing is there's nowhere to sit over. That's some bull freaking shit. Well, I can tell you one thing. I have no excuse not to learn how to use this camera now. We and I have this mic. And I'm trying to learn how to shoot in manual mode. So I need to learn how to do this as soon as possible. So 
just stand by. This vlog might be all kinds of in and out of white balance or whatever. But I'm gonna learn how to use it in auto in, in manual mode. Cause auto mode, it just it just doesn't do it. it. Doesn't like correct the colors and everything fast enough. Like I still feel like I'm okay. That's a little better. I still feel like I was like a little too like washed out. Okay, it's a little windy and I'm cold. Tell me, can you hear the wind? Cause right now I have no clue. But y'all can tell you one thing. I'm fucking freezing. I came out here trying to look all cute and shit. Got no jacket. Fucking freezing. Alright, back home in the neighborhood. My mom and my brother are at the laundromat, so I'm gonna go pop in on them and see if they need any help. Hopefully they don't. <laughs> Cause I don't feel like doing laundry, honestly. But, <laughs> the funny shit is they're doing my laundry. One hour later. Alright, so apparently I am doing something. I'm not just standing home like I thought I was gonna do. She dragged me out the house. <laughs> Someone tell me what we're doing now. <laughs> did you upload that video? No, I didn't upload the video yet. The one we did? No, I didn't upload the one we did last night. You didn't edit it? No, I just send, it's still on the camera, camera still. So. You gotta send put it out there? Yeah, I'm gonna put it out there. I'm gonna just put it on my Facebook page though. You gonna put it on your Facebook page? Yeah, I think so. Not my, not my YouTube page. I don't know. I might do both. I don't know. I'll tell you about that, that video later. Okay, so we're on the bus. We're heading out to Long Island. And I know we're heading on to Long Island. This shouldn't be a long trip because it's like we're on an express bus. I'm just excited. I'm taking this whole rig out and testing it real world conditions. I wonder how it sounds right now in this bus. Oh, I can't wait to watch this stuff back. Yeah. What, because he was looking at my camera? No, he keep looking, you know? Well, yeah, he can keep looking. Like he's going to make a U turn or something, you know? I wanted him. I wanted him to know that I was looking. <laughs> Hold on for a second, Keith. He didn't do that. He kept going. Hold on for a second, all right, Keith? All right. So, mother and I. Not you, Keith. I'm gonna. I'm vlogging. Uh, so, mother and I were out in Hempstead. Hi, Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, I used to want to work there when I was a kid. Now it's like I wouldn't even think about it. <laughs> Okay, hold on guys. Keith, I am not talking to you. I am definitely vlogging, just so you know. <laughs> okay, anyway, back to you guys. You know, the Kevin Lee viewers. Um, I'm out here with my mom, and I don't make any stop at the post office. I think our post office boxes do. After that, I don't know what's going to happen. So Ma, what you want to say about that crazy bitch from on the bus? That bitch was about to get her ass busted. <laughs> yeah, we was gonna jump on that ass. Let me tell you, we were on the bus coming back from Hempstead, which is the N6 that comes into Queens. This crazy woman gets on the bus somewhere right before Elmont. Did she, she get like on like right um, after where that path used to be? 
A little further down. A little further down? Yeah. So about oh, closer to the one these then? A little further down. So okay. So. Anyway, I had my headphones in with my music, and I'm listening to my music, enjoying my music. Me too. <laughs> All of a sudden, I hear this woman hollering and screaming, and she's getting on the bus. And she's a big, fat, black woman. <laughs> so she gets in, and she sits down, and we're in the rear of the bus. All of a sudden, we go about another three miles, maybe four miles. Yeah. And she gets up, and there's a. I'm sitting on a seat. There's a seat that's empty next to me, and then there's a guy sitting. Like they had to be like that seat. much space between and her and the guy. Everybody knows how the city buses are, you know, with the long benches on the back of the bus. Yeah. So it was a tight squeeze. So it would have been a tight squeeze, but I was sitting a little further over to make it so nobody can sit there. And so was that guy too. And so was the other guy. So she walks to the back of the bus and there's a seat there and there's another seat up on the other side. So she looks at, she walks past the seat next to me and she goes to the other seat and she looks at my seat and she doubles back and she sits down and she sits on my arm and my thigh. <laughs> so I, I still had my headphones in. So you know when you got your headphones in and your music on, you pro I know I talk loud as hell. Yeah, you do. And <laughs> you did, talk I talk loud, as shit. did I talk loud as hell when yeah, you do Yeah, you do as loud as shit. I said, really? I said, you're going to try to sit your fat ass next to my... I said, your ass is fat and my ass is fat and you know we cannot sit next to each other. Well, the whole half of the bus in the back bust bus out laughing. <laughs> she got tried to get fly and get slick with me. Mm -hmm. Well, I cursed her out. Oh yeah. Told her off, and she kept on a little bit, and then I could say, "Oh, you think this is a? You think somebody's playing?" So then I take off my headphones and put my cell phone and everything in my pocketbook. And I dropped my phone in my ready, bag. And I'm ready to, you know, to get busy. Yeah, we was gonna jump on her. I'm telling so, you, we was gonna jump on her. She says, so she says something else, and I said, well, I was trying to sit there. You didn't see I was trying to sit there? I said, I don't care. I don't like women. I like men. You was <laughs> Yo, and the whole bus busted out last She said, you want to do a threesome? You want to do a threesome? I said. Oh, she did have an accident, didn't she? Yeah. She, I, so. I think she was Haitian. Something. Because she asked that man, are you Haitian? Yeah, she, yeah, she like, said, you want to do a threesome? You want to do a threesome? To me, and I said, you know what? I said, we, I said, you gonna get some, but you ain't gonna like what you gonna get. <laughs> yeah, and the bus was just laughing and laughing and laughing, but I was so serious. I'm saying, yo, she had the whole back of the bus, like, laughing, like, it, it was hilarious. But I'm telling you, we was getting ready to jump on her. Yes, and then the, you know, the, young, the young guys, too, they was like, I was gonna beat her ass. <laughs> I was gonna beat her, beat her. <laughs> then, I mean, when she was sitting in the front of the bus, she was just making all this noise. Screaming and yelling at everybody, talking all loud, acting like she didn't have no medication for two, three weeks. She probably ain't had no medication for like a while. Then when, after me and her got into it, she didn't say a word for another three or five miles. Nah, she was quiet the rest of the Then she trip. all of a sudden jumped up because I guess she couldn't be quiet no damn more. <laughs> no, wait, let me back up a minute. Then my son going to take a picture of her. Uh, the video that yes, they, she, they, 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 they seen. She, he gonna take a picture of her and she gives him the finger. <laughs> so now I put my headphones back on. No, I'm not. I, I never put my phone back on. No. I never put my music back on. She gets, And I just happened to look at my son's phone to see what he was doing. And I see her finger up in the phone. I said, you want me to go over there and break that finger for her? <laughs> I said, I will break that finger off her hand for her. Then about five minutes later, she jumps up and she goes all the way to the front of the bus to where like the senior seats are. And then and this one about, was like talking about. So then I looked up there. I said, "Oh!" And she kept looking back at me and looking back at me. So I leaned up a little and I looked. I said, "Oh, there's, there's two seats across from her, empty." I said, "I told Kevin, I said I'm gonna go up there and sit across from her." Kevin said, "Oh, mommy, don't bother her." But I said, "I'm gonna go over there and sit across from her and just stare at her." I said, "Then she got up. I thought somebody was gonna ring the bell." And the back door was going to open, and I was going to put my foot dead in my ass and kick off the bus. <laughs> right down the stairs. Right off the bus. But I'm and sorry. I, and I've done that before. <laughs> put my foot in someone's ass and kick them dead off the bus. I wanted to see her do it, though. I wanted to see her do it so bad. And that's what's for dinner tonight.